Master Ken here with another episode of Master Ken's Privates. With me today is James Kilstain, and he is a retired comedian. I, and, I, 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 still, I still do it. And also does some jujitsu. We have also Nasty Nate, who is a sharer of memes. What are you going to show us today? Uh, yeah, well, first of all, uh, I do comedy, but my, my main passion uh, is jujitsu. I mean, it's also, it's, it's Jamie, uh, not James, but that's fine. I wanted to show uh, a move called the trap and roll, which is really good uh, for self-defense. It's good for people who have little to no experience, and it's really important because it puts you in the worst position possible on the bottom, and it shows you how to get on top where you can then hopefully get away uh, safely. Oh, should I? I can. So no jokes. Uh, for that, no. Uh, I, I feel like uh, assault, um, violence, it's a really serious topic, so I just try to, you know, keep it. We'll show you the move, and then, uh, you know, I love comedy, but uh, self-defense is the most important thing uh, to me. All right. Here we go with an unfunny demonstration. I, I mean, the point, just for the, the points not to be... Sure, okay. Uh, hey, so my name is Jamie Kilstein. Uh, I'm a Jiu Jitsu instructor. I also happen to do stand up comedy. And today we're gonna teach the trap and roll. It's really important for self defense, especially in the street. So this is the most dangerous area. When my opponent is postured up, he has all of his weight on me, but he can also throw punches. I'm really vulnerable. There's nothing I can do. Reaching up, which is a lot of people's instincts actually put me in more danger. He can grab my hands, there are arm bars there if he knows what he's doing. So my goal, instead of bringing him down to me uh, with my hands, is I'm gonna use my body and I'm gonna use the ground against him. So as he's punching, I'm gonna cover up, I'm gonna raise my hips, which brings him forward. If he doesn't fall right away, I can also use my knee to assist. So I lift him up, I push his butt with my knee, and then I'm gonna start looking for the arm. Again, this, this is the most, this is the most dangerous spot. So my only goal is to bring him to me. I'm not thinking about. What does the uniform of a promiscuous jujitsu practitioner and a Subway sandwich have in common? It, is it? They're both called a hoagie. Should I keep showing show the move? Okay. Uh, great. So, I guess, sure. So, when my opponent's down, now I have a second problem, and that's his arms. His arms are immediately gonna go to the ground. Now, that is gonna stop me from getting him off. If I go to bump him really hard, he can use his hand to base, right? Because now I just wanna take away his frame. This is much easier than throwing a person off. When I go to take him over, he doesn't have that base. If you want extra security, you can also take your foot, trap his foot, and pull it inside. So now... Why did the... Jesus Christ. Why did the 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu practitioner cross the road? It, did you just keep describing him? Because their favorite position is called the truck. <laughs> Hey, can I, just really quick, do you want me to show the move or do you wanna, uh, we can talk about comedy? No, like, you're doing great. Okay. You're doing, just keep teaching. Okay. It just seems like you wanna do comedy. No, no comedy at all. Okay. Cause we, we can talk. I'm happy to explain like the open mic. Is he fucking gone? All right. Let's just, so to finish the move, I don't even, okay. So once I have the arm trapped, okay? I'm still gonna use leverage. My situation is better right now, but my opponent, he's still heavier than me. He still has gravity, right? So what I'm gonna do is I use my feet. I shoot straight up and I look over my shoulder. There. That makes him weightless. So I'm not pushing him. I'm not trying to bench press or use muscle. I'm using the ground. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, I'm using the ground. Uh, I'm using uh, my hips, I'm using leverage, I'm using the earth, uh, which is round. That was a, that was a joke about flat earth, which is topical. A jujitsu practitioner with no arms walks into a bar. And the bartender says, I'm sorry, I can't serve you. 
And he says, is it because I have no arms? And the bartender says, no, it's because I have no arms. And then he goes, he goes back to cleaning the glasses with his feet. There's lots of handy capable people. All right, that was another episode of Master Ken's Privates. I'd like to thank Johnny uh, Kilstein Jamie, for Jamie, Jamie, Jamie Kilstein for coming on the show and demonstrating uh, jujitsu, uh, the the unfunniest jujitsu we've ever seen. Wasn't meant to be funny. And uh, really? where, if people want to follow you or learn more about you, they can. Sure, uh, my Instagram is at the Jamie Kilstein. Uh, my podcast is jamiekilsteinpodcast.com, and then I'm on Twitter at Jamie Kilstein. All right. And uh, just like a midget with a brain injury, thanks for keeping it short and simple. <laughs> I mean, if you want to do comedy, we can talk about doing comedy. Thanks for watching our video. Remember, you can order your own personalized video message from me, Master Ken, by going to Cameo. So whether it's a happy birthday, or you want me to tell you, or your instructor, why your martial art is total bullshit, go to Cameo and order your video message today. And remember, always restop that groin.